Hey, this is Pastor Michael Yurisha, and I want to invite you to hit that like and subscribe button and drop us a comment if you will. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive all of our updates. God bless you. Come on, let's get to the Word. Let's move on. Verse 37. Now we're going to have to do some excavating through these passages here. So <clears throat> here we go. Verse 37. He, meaning the Antichrist, will show no regard for the gods of his ancestors or for the one desired by women, nor will he regard any god, but will exalt himself above them all. Instead of them, he will honor a god of fortresses, a god unknown to his ancestors. He will honor with gold and silver, with precious stones and costly gifts. He will attack the mightiest fortresses with the help of a foreign god and will greatly honor those who acknowledge him. He will make them rulers over many people and he will distribute the land at a price. All right, so here's where we begin to get into some of the details of Antichrist. Number one, the Bible says that he shows no regard for the God of his ancestors. So I want to use two different translations of our English Bible to parse some of these verses out. If we look at that verse 37 in the King James Version, if you get that one up there, Caleb. The Bible says, Neither shall he, Antichrist, regard the God, capital G, that's Elohim, in the Hebrew, in the beginning, Elohim, in the beginning, God. He shall, uh, neither shall he regard the Elohim of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any Eloah, that is a foreign God. That's why it's in a small g, two separate words. All right, he will have no regard for the Elohim of his fathers, for he shall magnify himself above all. So before we get into the ethnicity of the Antichrist, let's talk about his lack of desire for women because there's a couple thoughts out there. But now, first glance in the King James Version, it could easily give you the impression that the Antichrist could be homosexual male. Okay? Could be a homosexual male. The text here is gender-specific. The Bible says he, right? And it's very possible very possible that he's homosexual, especially in today's age. <laughs> the Bible says he doesn't desire women. However, the New International Version renders, I believe, a more accurate translation, which reads, he will not regard, you know, the God of his ancestors, or for the one desired by women. Watch this. All ancient Jews, all right, all, or all ancient Jewish women, it was their desire, it was their goal to be the appointed virgin to birth the true Messiah, Jesus Christ. That was all the young Jewish women. That was, wow, if I could be the mother of the coming Messiah. It was the dream of every young Jewish girl. So Jesus Christ is the one who was desired by women. And the Antichrist has no regard for either Elohim, right? Or he has no regard for Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus our Messiah. Are you with me there? So there's the two translations. Either and or both can be true. To proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ To every nation, every generation To all creation to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ 